That loss Wednesday at Miami by one point on a last second shot by Florida Gulf Coast transfer Zach Johnson. It's an experienced starting group for Clemson in the Orange. Three of these guys starting their 25th game of the year. It's the 12th time this quintet has taken the floor to open a game for Louisville. Seven and four with this lineup. Jordan Wara, who controls now their leading scorer at 18 points a game. I did not know that Muhammad Ali is my favorite athlete of all time and he walked away without my jersey. Did you not know I have no pull anywhere? But Jordan Wara has a lot of pull around the basket. His second. And they know War is dangerous from beyond the arc, but giving up too much space for him to get to the rim. Sims gives the high low for Thomas, who turns over the right shoulder and scores. Here comes Cunningham, one on four. He's looking for Wara, who drives the lane and jams uncontested. A bad loss at all from the resume standpoint, but just painful from the fact that you had a 20 point, 23 point lead and let that slip away when you had a chance to be the best team in the country. For so Brad right now, he does not want Thomas to get into foul trouble early in games. So Jemison getting in ahead of Javin White, who normally gets the nod behind Thomas. And Scar, one of the better defenders in the league, and takes on the challenge of guarding Jordan War. War got three opportunities at the rim early as we see Quan Four. Four to shoot, Newman the freshman from the corner. And the ball comes down into the hands of Cunningham, going one on two. McMahon from three, got it in transition, his specialty. First three of the game. See if Louisville is able to take advantage of Clemson's last in the ACC three-point field goal defense. Thomas loaded up with a head of steam, goes down the lane, tries to shoot from his rear end, and then Mitchell hits the three. Why did you go, you know, the soft route and put gloves on? Is really the question I'm asking. No, it, was a, it was a sucker punch because he punched a sucker <laughs> sitting next to him. That was Golden. Yeah. I think his experience with the Nigerian team this summer really helped him because he played good minutes a year ago. But I think that really took him over the top. What you're seeing right now a little bit of three-quarter court pressure from the cards with War on the bench. Enoch rejects Mitchell with authority. Cunningham gets ahead of the field. And behind him, the lay-in is good for Sutton. Turnovers have been problematic in the first half for Clemson. Already 10 of them. And only down by one. Newman shakes McMahon and delivers. You know how many pickup games I've lost when somebody <laughs> stuck their hand in the rim? Yeah, I've heard a whole lot of conversation about it. But again, when you look at what the conversation has been, as Marquise Reed knocks down his first bucket on the afternoon, got the ball so well, over nine three-pointers in their four, last four games. But Clemson doing a great job defensively, keeping Louisville out, out of what they want to do offensively, especially with Jordan Moore on the floor on the bench with two fouls. <laughs> no, Bill Walton, one of my favorites, love watching him. And a bit confused on the Conference of Champions, but at the end of the day, I mean, you know, when he was playing, to his credit. Now Thomas and Scar sitting a good bunch in this first half, but the Tigers are going to halftime with a comfortable advantage, 23-19. Based on the practice I watched yesterday, it was very spirited for Louisville, and they didn't, other than to say, hey, that's behind us now. And the grad students for Clemson actually have been there for a while outside of White. You've got three guys in the lineup who've already graduated. How would to come to him as he's done so well all season long? Cunningham breaks away. Four on three. Louisville to the basket. And it's Cunningham who gets it done. So how do they fare? against number five Kentucky. We'll find out tonight. Well, Eight. I think the, the biggest issue is the fact that they're going to be at Kentucky. Slow to get up, got hit in the eye by Reed inadvertently as he was attempting a shot there before the timeout. Three-pointer is good for Sutton. Sutton. So you can expect a tremendous amount of pressure defensively from this lineup, maybe 94 feet. But right now, Nothing Enoch can do with Elijah Thomas making plays on the perimeter. Be able to stay on the floor more, playing about 25 minutes a game. You know, and one of the things when you talk to the Clemson strength and conditioning program, he did that on his own, like Cunningham. Trap had a big first half. He gave it up. Mitchell foot on the line. Long two. Vaults the Tigers up by one. But keeping it close with Maryland, both teams... Coming off of losses. 
Ten right now is clear for Clemson. Get it inside to Thomas, whether it's Enoch or Williams defending. But Thomas had to put his shoe back on. It was five on four, and Perry hits the three. Especially coming out of a timeout, the possession that they got offensively. They've taken the shot clock under 10 quite a few times this afternoon. It pays off as Reed steps back with the three. After difficult losses earlier this week. Three-pointer from Stephen Enoch was pure. It's only the 20. Given the number of turnovers that Clemson has had, they turned it over 12 times in the first half that it's still been so close. Normally, you say if you look at that number, it wouldn't be the case. But they've given up back-to-back -back threes. This time, it's Perry. And now you see that defensive energy much more so than his possessions. Reed just needed a slight opening. He misses. Thomas does not. And that ends the 8-0 run. Off the screen, he's got to create. And it's a three for Cunningham. Mitchell powers his way up the floor. And Thomas, as he has time and time again, takes it from the right side to the left. Or at least cut the lead to one with the basketball. You get down to a one possession scenario, as we are right now. 48-47. Sees best. Actually missed four free throws at the end of that game. And now with the opportunity to take the lead, Thomas misses two. A fourth shot by Reed. I want my team wasting a lot of time. I want to see if we can get a good shot early. Stay aggressive. And we're on the cut to the basket. Dunks it and one. And any more aggressive than this. Jordan War with a beautiful cut. McMahon finding War right on time, and War, who hasn't been able to get it going from beyond the three-point arc. Now just a minute to go with Louisville up by four. Reed turned away, out of bounds. Stays the Tigers' ball. Out there for the Cards. And right now, you could just throw that long into Malik Williams. McMahon down the floor. Williams, the easiest two in the two points instead of pulling it back out. Thomas lost it and was the last one to touch it. At first it looked like that foul may have gone on Elijah Thomas, which would have been his fifth. Instead, the officials attribute it to Marquise Reed. Not huge days for either team's top scorers. Wara has 11. Mitchell, quick two. Stops the clock, 27.5. The bucket from Mitchell made it 55-49. And Enoch, for a post player, shoots great from the free throw line. 83%, perfect today. Oh, don't act like you didn't <laughs> play the lottery. <laughs> One for two. Not making silly plays. Don't foul on threes and make things difficult for Clemson. Reed tries a three. No timeouts left for Clemson, so they've got a man up right here and play defense. It's Thomas who passes up the three for Reed. His triple is good. 56 55, three and a half seconds to go. Gotta get it in. He gave it up. It's rejected by War as the horn expires. The missed shot from Newman ends the game. War, who's able to run the baseline, the turnover of a Ward, give him credit, comes in and makes a big block on the shot.